Hey, yo, how's it going, guys? What is up, Soros? Back once again for another character impressions. Hello, this time we have the the the, the new character from the event. I'm actually surprised she's an actual character now. I, I'm really I'm really surprised that she turned out to be an SSR character after all. When I when I was somewhat playing around when I was doing the event, the 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 story playthrough and shit. I was like, it would be nice to see her as a playable character. I didn't expect that to happen. Fucking A, dude. <laughs> but, uh, not bad. I actually don't really mind it too much because, uh, she looks pretty good. Would bang. Oh, there's a lot of uh, hip action and legs action there. Mm. Okay. Um,. So she has 995.50 attack, which is relatively high, but she's an attack based character as well. And she's fire, she's human, she has a bow and axe. Where is that axe coming from? She's not even holding an axe. In the story, she was just using a fucking bow though. Ah, whatever. I mean, her, we her, her stupid weapon is an axe though. Um, Rosad Al Habi. Massive fire damage to a full extend Ayan Ayan Al Ramal Al Ramal's duration by two turns. What? Boost to specs against foes with Ayan Al Ramal effect. What the hell is going on? Oh god, I'm gonna butcher all these names, man. Like that? Yeah, that? Oh my god. Fire damage to a foe. Remove one buff. Yeah. That. Damage taken is boosted based on number of debuffs. This looks like supplemental damage. This looks like exactly like uh uh what well, what was that weapon called? The Hollow Sky Blade or something? The sword? It looks like it's similar to that. But you can dispel as well. So she has dispel and that. And you get the effect. Which is this. So the, the Ayan Al Ramal thing is this one? So second skill is Al Matar Takil. 4 hit fire damage to a foe. Hit to attack and defense stackable. Cool. Premium debuffs. Random debuff consumes one hunter arrow. One hunter's arrow. Whoa. Okay, so those are all the random random debuffs that can be poison, multi attack, charm, fear, curious oh she can petrify. She can I mean she can fear and paralyze. It's just one hunter arrow though. How many arrows does she have? Yeah, how many arrows does she has? Danush Danusha Lana. Instant CAs okay, so full full meter and fully reload hunter arrows the quick Oh four. Okay. Okay, cool. Desert Huntress, refill 4 hunter arrows every 5 turns. Oh, another Yoda, huh? Boost to critical crit rate based on number of hunter arrows. Starts the battle with 4 arrows, sure. Passionate Reunion, boost to multi attack rate based on number of foes debuffs. And she looks weak as fuck, dude. She looks like ass, dude. Holy fuck, okay. She has skill cap and skill damage. She has three crits. One debuff success rate. One Ogi, two attacks. I know she has nukes, but I guess it just max all the crits. <laughs> max all the crits. Skill cap and attack. Would you would you get this though? <laughs> two one point in that. One point of each. I don't really think you need to crit a lot of attack. You probably want to max that out. You want to max this out. Max this. I'm not sure if you want to put all crit though. 
Maybe two crits and then max uh, put more on here. I mean, it's not like you can get that all the time. Her arrow thing is not there all the time. It's not like Urias, you gain me like you can just basically spam every freaking turn instead of like her. She basically has eight. You can cast eight times in two in two turns. And you have to keep in mind that Urias can her. I mean, Urias's uh, support thingy allows him to get extra meter at the start, so he can actually cast like five or some shit. Five, thir five times in the beginning, the first turn. So yeah, Urius is still like way better either way. Cause you not to not to mention his stacks is a lot better. His stacks definitely a lot better. Urius's stacks is definitely way better. She's like a weaker version of him. Cause like she gets this effect. The Ogi extends this effect, so it's just extending this thing. I thought it was like some kind of buff, buff the team or some shit. You know, similar like Kane's skill too or some shit. I mean, it's just giving your, your your team more damage is like a supporter-ish kind of thing. She She's more like a support. Even though she's an attack style character, it's weird. She's very weird. Like, because you have to keep in mind, like, in the likes of, like, you want to compare this to, like, because people are saying, like, she's like the fire Urius or whatever. You have to keep in mind that Urius is a lot more different than her. Like... Urius has more use out of her because Urius can do damage because of that 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 thing she gets. Um where does it sh where does it show? This true secret thing. Because this gives him CA specs. He can do extra damage. <laughs> he can dispel. He gives him meter. He can drain, he can, can reduce, he can do this, and then gets meter as well. He gets meter all the fucking time. It's very easy. And he has this as well, it's the same as hers. He, he The way this character, the, the way Yuris works is way better. And how much stats does he, ha does he have? Yeah, even his attack stat is relatively high too, if you think about it. If you like minus all of the stuff that I added for him, like this ring and this too. If you just minus that 4,700, he's still like 9, 8 to close to 9,000 or something. He's, his stats is still pretty damn good. And he's a special style character. He's not attack style like her. I was expecting more for an attack style. Usually attack style tends to like have a much better attack and stuff. She is pretty shit in my opinion. She looks so weak. It's like she's trying to be like Urias but... She's so gated to her arrows thing to do most of her shit. And you have to remember, this only refills every 5 turns. And you can only do 8 in 2 turns, the first 2 turns. That's it. And then you have to wait for this to, to recharge. to Or like the cooldown to end in order to do this again. To recharge the thing. Which I have no freaking idea how long is this going to take. It's... Yeah, it's pretty meh. Yeah, this pa this passive is exactly like Urius as well. And she has a very weird specialty too. Which doesn't really like mix very well with you know what 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 the normie setups for fire these days tends to use. I'm pretty sure you guys already know what I'm referring to. She looks okay, but she's so situational though. Yeah, she's too situational in my opinion. It's like yeah, she she she, she sounds pretty damn cool. But at the same time, it's like, uh, I was act actually expecting a little bit more out of her. I don't know why Axe though. If she put a bow and a gun, that makes more sense to me. <laughs> it makes more sense that way in my opinion, but what? what a why Axe? <laughs> I don't even know she was carrying an axe in the first place, except for this. <laughs> her EMP is okay, it's not that great. It's like, yeah, she nukes. Even though if she's nuking, like... Let's just say if she if you get like skill cap, uh, Ultima or whatever, she nukes like one million plus and stuff, right? It's she's still pretty damn gated either way if you think about it. If it, it, <laughs> it, yeah, it, it's like there's really nothing. There's really uh, it is limiting her really because of this bullet looking stack thingy that she's gated by. 
because she's so similar to how like the likes of like Yoda mechanics stacks thingy work. I did, I do, I do actually do like her, her design. I mean, she, they're, they're, they're supposed to portray her like an, uh, a Bollywood star, right? But she clearly does not look like one. <laughs> I mean, her and Atiyah are supposed to be like a Bollywood star, right? Because the stupid ass event. Out of nowhere, just singing and dancing. SMH. <laughs> I mean, I guess, I guess if you, if you do want, if you are using Frau, then yeah, I guess it is okay. But in my opinion, she is still very situational in that sense. Cause you, it's only like some very limited setup that can really, I don't know, make full use out of her, you know, compared to like, compared to like standard Liza that technically can work with so many different setups because their skill set is so easy to make use of compared to like. A, a character like hers I mean she's okay though I kind of wish that her stats is a lot higher Like 10k or something Because to me it makes more sense that way If she actually has 10,000 plus attack Because of this Because it feels so limited you know For all I know people will just try to use her as like the The attempt of fire solo fast on or some shit That's all I can see Other than that uh, Questionable <laughs> Yeah, that's it. I have nothing else to say about her. Like, subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.